welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel we have short sightedness what does it mean short sight it means that you can see objects which are near in short distance short sight that's why it's called short sightedness then it means that you can't see objects which are far so it's an ability is the ability of the eye to see nearby object but cannot see objects in a distance or objects which are far more than six meters from the individual this defect may be caused by number one eyeball is too long it means that the eyeball is too long whereby the image is formed in front of the retina the cornea is being too curved for the length of the eyeball then it means that if it is too curved, then it means that uh, the light is being bent too much compared to how it's supposed to be bent. Image is then forms in front of the retina. And then inability of the lens to change, inability of the lens to become less convex. So if it becomes less convex, then it means that uh, the, 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 the object, the light will be bent more and then it forms in front of the retina. So the, the normal vision, the image is supposed to form here by the retina. But because now, number one, the eyeball is too long, this eyeball is too long, so the image does not form on the retina. It can't move up to the distance of, uh, of, um, of the eye to finish this distance. So it forms in between. The focal length of this lens is not by the retina, is in between here, and then the image falls in between. Oh, the cornea is too curved. It means that this cornea in front here, it bends this light more. By the time it falls on the lens, it's already bent too much, and then it ends up forming the image in between. Or oh, inability of the lens to become less convex. It means that the lens becomes remains big and then refla, um, refracts this light more with a high power and then it forms the image uh, in between. It does not reach the retina. You can treat this defect by wearing glasses uh, which are concave. It means that at least you put a concave glass here which diverges this light so that it, it appears to be like um, an object coming from near object and then then it means that this right rays will be bent to uh, it means that now this uh, image will be shifted to the retina then you'll be able to see uh, the object to see the object this is what i'm trying to say that you put uh, what you call a concave lens this concave lens tries to bend light and then shifts this image which is formed here to the retina. Now the image will be formed onto the retina. Then number two, we have what called a long sightedness. It means that you can see objects which are far, long, long distance, but you can't see objects which are near. It's the ability of the eye to see distant object, but you can't see nearby object. The defect may be caused by, number one, the eyeball is too short. It means that the image is going to form behind the retina. It's too short. Yes, it, it, the, the, the distance is supposed to travel. The focal length of the lens is, is going to be behind the what? The retina. And then the, the image is formed behind the retina. Number two, the cornea is being less curved. It means that the length of the eyeball is what? Is short. And then it means that um, the... the, the the image is being formed behind the retina. Then the inability of the lens to become more convex so that it can bend this light to the retina. So it, it, is, it means that the power, its power is less. It can't refract this light onto the retina. So it just have to pass out. It's like if you have the stopping, um, you are supposed to stop uh, at a certain point and you are running because the speed is too much, yes, you end up bypassing that point and then you stop uh, after after the point so that's how it, it is it means that the power of this light is too much therefore the lens fails to stop or to bend this light to the retina and then the image ends up forming behind the retina then uh, if you look at the picture here, the picture here, it shows what really is happening. This is the normal vision. The image is formed in the retina, but on the uh, long sightedness abnormal eye, uh, or eye with the defect, the image is formed behind the retina. So 
Our job now is to bring this back to here. So what we do we do? We need to reduce the we need to reduce this beam so the the, the, the the wideness of this beam so that the image is brought back to the retina. So how do we treat this? We treat it by wearing what you call the convex lenses. What do they do? Convex lenses, they bring, they bend the light. And if it is convex, it means that they bend the light, it becomes, uh, it, it converges the light. By the time it reaches the lens, then the light it has been converged. Then the third one is what called astigmatism. Astigmatism. Astigmatism is when the cornea of the lens, the cornea or the lens is not equally round in all directions. Light is not focused evenly on the retina. Then it means that you'll be able to, you'll be seeing multiple images. This leads to number one, blurry vision. Number two, headache. It means that you can't see. It's like having a phone and this, uh, video calling someone and someone is shaking the phone. So it, is, it becomes, you start to feel that headache. That's how, what happens to a person who is suffering from astigmatism. Then you have the squinting of, of the eyes, squinting of the eyes. So what happens, it means that uh, the, the eyes are not um, proper in the socket. A uh, person who is suffering from astigmatism uh, has multiple images are being formed. So now the, the, the brain becomes confused which image is to, inter to be interpreted. However, it's going to interpret everything and then it's going to bring back the effect. You will be seeing you'll be seeing multiple images. That's why you have what you call the prior vision. Treatment, how do you treat this? Number one, you can treat it by putting on glasses with prescription lenses. It means that it depends on the severity of your astigmatism, then the prescriptions of, prescription of lenses will be given to you. Then contact lenses, it means that you can put it on your eye so that it can change or it can bring about the normal focusing of the image. Then lastly, laser therapy. Uh, then it means that you can uh, cut off that uh, eye, that cornea, or you can scoop it out so that it becomes evenly distributed. The last one is what called cataracts. Cataracts is like miracle substance in your eye. It occurs when a clear transparent lens becomes cloudy and opaque. It means that it does not allow light to go through, resulting in a blurred vision. This is a, how the, 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 this is the normal eye, and then this is the person with the cataracts, how it looks like. It, it, it clouds, it, it becomes like milk, and then uh, it solidifies, the lens solidifies, and then you won't be able to see. So it means that the lens cannot even change its shape. Why? Because it has solidified. How do you treat it? Treat it by doing a surgery or um, surgery to replace the lens with the synthetic lens. It means that you remove the lens which was there and then you put the one which is synthetic, which means that the one which is manufactured, man-made lens. Here are some of the questions you can try and then do uh, them. You can pause the video and then you do them and then see if you can get the correct answer. I'm not going to, de to discuss them, but you can pause the video, you do them. So these are some of the answers for the uh, basically, uh, yes. So if you have any question related to life science, you can write it in the comments uh, under the video, or you can WhatsApp us, then we'll be able to help you out. The human ear.